power strip versus UPS. While a UPS and a power strip do a lot of the same things, they both give you more outlets off of a single outlet, so, you know, like 8 to 1, 4 to 1, whatever. The big difference between a power strip and an uninterruptible power supply, UPS, is the uninterruptible part. A UPS has a battery backup in order to keep it up and running. This is great if you've got a home server or a enterprise server that you need to have always up or are worried that a downtime could cause bad sectors on the hard drive or delayed writes or any of those kinds of bad things that are associated with just crashing your computer. But the other advantage of a UPS is the ability to monitor its status and know what's going on. The CyberPower device that I just picked up, which I'm going to hold up upside down, there we go, has this particular monitoring software from them that will show you what the current voltage is incoming, how charged it is, how many minutes you have remaining, and how much draw it has. This is great for assessing whether or not you're overloading a circuit, telling whether or not you've got bad voltage in a given location, those kinds of things. But it will also allow you to schedule downtime for the devices that are attached. Say you have a you know, lighting system that you want to make sure is off from 9 p.m. to midnight for whatever reason, you can schedule that within their utility. The other real advantage of a good UPS, and not all UPSs do this, is the true sine wave generation and auto voltage regulation that they can do. The particular cyber power model that I bought will make sure that there is a consistent 60 hertz sine wave that comes out of it at whatever voltage it is set to. And I think it's 115 on this particular model, but I'd have to check. But by doing this, you know that your electronics are going to get good regulated power. This keeps bulbs from burning out as fast, like the bulb that's in your LED or LCD television. Uh, my DLP projector and my DLP projection television have much greater bulb life because they've been on regulated power. So they never overburn or underburn. When you run something that's designed to run at 110 volts at 90 volts in order to compensate it has to work harder and you basically draw more amps at that voltage than you would have otherwise so a 10 percent drop in voltage is a 10 percent increase in the amperage that you're drawing on that device and that creates strain on the device so a good UPS should have auto voltage regulation a monitoring software, and a large amount of surge protection. The particular model that I picked has 1,500 joules of surge protection. Most power strips have in the neighborhood of 400 joules of surge protection. Um, I didn't look up the clamping speed, but there's also a surge clamping speed that is how fast it will prevent the surge from going which is basically how long will I subject my electronics to the wrong voltage in the event that something bad happens like lightning strikes. 100,000 volts hitting your electronics for even a tenth of a second is enough to burn most of them up. So the clamping speed makes a big difference in how protected your devices are. With a UPS, you're generally going to get a higher joule rating and because of the auto voltage regulation, a surge that comes down the line is less likely to hit your devices. You're also not going to experience problems with brownouts if you have a UPS. A UPS is going to up the voltage when the voltage is too low. A power strip can block high voltages, but it can't do anything to improve the low voltage.